We thank God for his goodness. We thank God for his mercy. We thank God for his protection. We thank God for everything that he has done in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to another day of Bible study. We thank God for the gift of life. We thank God for his blessing. We thank God for his mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless his holy name in Jesus' mighty name. God is a good God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. We bless God. We bless God. We bless God. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord. We give you mass praise, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Good evening to you, wherever you are. Good evening and welcome to today's edition of Bible Study. It is my prayer that God uses us to bless you today. Today I'm here with my wife and uh, it is a pleasure to be with you. Hallelujah. It's a double anointing today. Amen. So may you be blessed as you have tuned in today. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God use us to bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Now, as usual, let's lift our voices and let's give thanks to God. Let's thank God for his goodness. Yes, let's Lord, thank God, God for his mercy. Father, Lord, we in thank the name you. of Jesus. We Father, we you. thank you in the this name of Jesus. We bless, bless your you. holy name in Jesus' name. We honor you, we yes, give you Lord. Glory. You are give the only Lord, and none there is. Give you adoration. And none beside you. In the name of Jesus. None can be compared unto Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, You Father. are the ancients of in days. Jesus Father, name. we bless you this Thank evening. Thank you, Lord. We thank in you for your Jesus faithfulness Christ. in our lives in we the thank name you for of the Jesus. Gift of life. We thank in you for your protection, your guidance, we thank you, your Father, preservation, your mercy, my God, your provisions, in your, our Jesus lives, Christ. my God. Thank we you, thank Father. You, thank Jesus. you, Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly we Father. Give glory, we give glory, give we give all glory. the honor and adoration. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. Blessed be you. your name. Yes, Lord. In you the are name the of God. Jesus. Father, we magnify yes, your Lord. name. We Father, we honor your of name. thanksgiving unto you in tonight, the my Lord. God, because you thank deserve you, all the thank glory. You, Father, thank you deserve you, all the honor and adoration. In the name of yes, Jesus Lord. Christ, we bless oh, your holy you. Holy name. Deserve the glory. You are you the only God, and none there is. And none there is. And none there is. And none there is. In Jesus' mighty we name, we bless you. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, we bless your holy thank name. You, Father, Father, we magnify your holy name. You are a good God. God. You are a great God. You are the you are a merciful my God. God. You are you the unsentable God. Yes, unlimited you are God. Alpha. You are Omega. You are my God, unattainable God. God. Your sovereignty, God. my God, is eternity. In the name of Jesus Tonight Christ. we come before your divine Thank throne you, with the sacrifice Thank of thanksgiving you, unto you. Thank we you, thank Lord. you and we bless Father, you. Father, we bless you tonight. In the name of Jesus. We honor you tonight. We thank you and we in bless Jesus you. In Jesus' name. We thank you and we you bless you, Lord. You are a good you, God. Yes, you are a great God. You are the only in God. In the name and there of is. Jesus. Yes, thank Lord. You, you are the strong thank tower, you, our Father. strong tower. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. In Father, Jesus we bless name. you. Lord, in it is written, you are enthroned in the praise of yes, Israel. Yes, Lord. Tonight we, we praise your the, holy the, name. The, 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 Tonight we magnify we your holy name. You, my God. Tonight we, we exalt you your holy name. Sit in your throne tonight in the, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank and bless you, us Father. as never before in bless the mighty name, name, name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are the holy God. Thank you, Jesus. You are the holy God. We give you praise. You are the holy God. 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 Heavenly Father, you are the holy God. Uncomparable Lord. Unattainable God. We bless you and we worship you. Yes, Lord. We worship you, my God. Bless 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 bless
We have righteous come to you and we are saved, my God. We have come to you, you, my God. We know we are saved in your presence in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. We thank and we bless you. Now, good evening to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Every one of you, good evening to you. May God bless you in the name of Jesus. Dear Naomi, good evening to you. Cherish, good evening to you. Sister Jane, good evening to you. Hallelujah. Latifa, wow, Sister Latifa. <laughs> good evening, Latifa. God bless you. Thank you for coming on in the name of Jesus Christ. And every one of you, hallelujah, if you can press the share button, that would be great. Sister Haiti and family, good evening to you in the name of Jesus. Please, every one of you, can you share, please? Uh, like Apostle Prince would say, share and be blessed. Amen. Share and be blessed. Share and be blessed. So let every one of you share and be blessed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Share and be blessed. Tonight we have something really important. We are talking about, you know, overcoming the challenges of life. Hallelujah. In our Bible study tonight, we are talking about overcoming challenges of life. And I want every one of you to know that life is full of challenges. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Life is full of challenges. In the book of John, chapter 16, verse 33, Jesus, our Lord and Savior and Redeemer, told us the truth. He said, in this world, mm. you will go through tribulations. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes. So, life mm. is full of challenges. Mm. But then, what is important is that challenges must not overcome you. No, be. In fact, as a child of God, mm. you should be above challenges. Amen. You should overcome whatever challenges that come your way. Hallelujah. Mm. You should be able to overcome it. Amen. Uh, Paul the Apostle said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. So as long as Jesus Christ strengthens you and I, every challenges that come our way, mm. we should be able to overcome it. Amen. And in fact, that is what we want to discuss tonight. We want to discuss about how and how you can go through, you know, and overcome every challenge that will confront you in this life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. And before we go on, we want to pray for the Holy Spirit to quicken every one of us. We want the Holy Spirit to help us. So lift up your voice and pray that the Holy Spirit of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that the Holy Spirit will come our way, will strengthen us, will empower us, in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of God, we pray Father, in we Jesus' Father, we come before name. thee tonight, Spirit yes, Lord. Spirit of God, we ask we are you are asking Jesus for your name. Spirit to come that upon you will us. Help us. You in will the help name us. of you Jesus, he said we you can do all things through you, Christ Jesus. You are the one who strengthens us. So tonight, you, you need you more us. than ever in our in lives, in the name, name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Christ. Come and fill us, refill us, rekindle us, re, re energize us in the Tonight name of Jesus. So you will be Lord, you will just pray, pray, pray to overcome the enemy in the name of Jesus. Holy so we can overcome us. every challenge that come on our Holy way Ghost, in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we need you more than ever tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. 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 Now, Amen. good evening one more time Amen. to every one of you all, wherever you have tuned in and your time there. Greetings to you in Jesus' name. We are talking about overcoming the challenges of life. Overcoming the challenges of life. Hallelujah. And uh, I was looking up the text that I should use for this important topic. And, uh, I, I saw, you know, the David and Goliath issue. Hallelujah. Amen. And so I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to take you step by step, you know, that if you go through challenges or when challenges confront you, 
how you are going to overcome it. Praise God. Amen. Amen and amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Now, so in the book of First Samuel chapter 17, if you have just joined us, First Samuel chapter 17, I will read from verse number four. Hallelujah. He says, And a champion went out from the camp of the Philistines named Goliath from Gav, whose height was six cubit and a span. And verse 5 said, He had a bronze helmet on his head, and he was armed with a coat of mail. And the weight of the coat was 5,000 shekels of bronze. Hmm. And he had bronze armor on his leg and bronze javelin between his shoulders. Now the staff of his spear was like weaver beam, hmm. and his iron spearhead weighed 600 shekels. And a shekel bearer went before him. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Now, if you read all, oh, and then the Bible says in verse 11, when, when, uh, when Saul and all Israel heard these words of the Philistines, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Now, what, what word did they hear? Uh, they were going to battle, and suddenly a giant came forward and said, no, you don't need you know, to fight. You don't need us to fight and, uh, you know, with all the death and people wounded, you know, that is not necessary. Mm. Just bring only one man mm. to confront me. Mm. And if he's able to overcome me, then you have won and then we will be your slaves. Mm. And of course, if we win, we too, we, you will be our slaves. Mm. And so, Israel was contemplating who would lead them. Praise God. And if you look, keep on reading the Bible, for 40 long days and 40 nights, they were at the battlefront waiting for one man to come forward. <laughs> and no, nobody came out. And every day, every night, hallelujah, Goliath will come and speak the same words. Hmm. Bring one man. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. He will speak with a big voice. Hmm. Bring one man. <laughs> and let this man fight me. Hmm. If he's able to overcome me, we will be your slaves. Hmm. If I overcome, you are our slaves. Hmm. And this <laughs> went on 40 days, 40 days. The Bible says that and everyone in the camp of Israel was afraid. Now tonight, what are you fearful of? Hmm. <laughs> what thing have confronted you? Hmm. Praise God. Hmm. Hallelujah. And like, like I said earlier, in this life, everyone will go through challenges of life. Hmm. Everyone will face something in life. Hmm. But what you do when you are facing that thing, that is why we are here. Hallelujah. Amen. Did you hear? Amen. The thing that you face, hallelujah, or what you must do when something has risen against you, that is why we are here. Hmm. Praise God. And so the Bible tells us that while they were looking and not finding anybody, you know, David's father at home didn't know what was going on. But he knew that as his children were at the battlefront, by that time, they may have been hungry. They may have been short of food. So he called David, who didn't, wasn't part of the army, to go and send food, hallelujah, to, to his brethren. Now, when David went there and had given food, then he got to know the situation that was confronting them. Now, David at this time was probably about 17 years old. Mm. Hallelujah. And he saw that this huge man will come and will say the same words, bring somebody, hmm. bring somebody. Hmm. And he will insult Israel and he will insult their God. 
Hallelujah. Amen. And David, a 17 year old, was, you know, disturbed in the inside of him that how comes in Israel there is nobody to confront this man? How comes, and then the words that he used, he said, how come this uncircumcised, you know, Philistine, Philistine mm. it is insulting us. In other words, what he was saying is that how come somebody, even though he's big, have no covenant with God, yet, hallelujah, have put everybody here, you know, <laughs> praise God, in fear, in cover, <laughs> and everybody is running. <laughs> This man don't mm. have a covenant. Mm. But we have covenant with God. Yes. And so why are we fearful? Mm. Tonight, I want you to know that if you don't know, you have a covenant with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is your covenant partner. Mm. And if God is your covenant partner, then nothing should scare you. Nothing should make you afraid. Mm. Because... The battle is not yours. Mm -mm. The battle is the Lord. Yes. But it comes with understanding. Mm. You need understanding. Mm. And thank God that there was a man, even though 17 year old, had understanding that, hey, I have a covenant with God. And God is the one that is doing the fight. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so David inquired that king, who, if, what reward? Is available for the person who will fight him and will win. Mm -hmm. What reward? Now, it is very important that you always need to examine these things. Whenever a situation confronts you in life, hallelujah, you need to examine what is at stake. The situation. If in your marriage, mm -hmm. if a situation comes in your marriage, mm -hmm. you need to examine what is at stake. Mm -hmm. If a situation comes, and you are sick, you need to examine what is at stake. And if you will come and overcome it, what is at stake? Hallelujah. Mm. If the enemy attack your children, you need to examine what is at stake. Because examining will give you the strength and the courage to move on and fight. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Mm. And David did all this. And David, when he has realized this, he put his name forward. Amen. That I will go and I will fight. Amen. Now, when his brothers who were there and they too, they were running. <laughs> <laughs> well, when they heard, when they heard that David was inquiring, they was angry with David, and they were calling him names and they were insulting him, and they were saying, "You, why, why, why? What is wrong with you?" You are bringing the same thing that you are doing at home. You are bringing it here. Amen. This is not a child play. <laughs> In other words, they were insulting him. They were disgracing him. They were discouraging him. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And so, when the king realized that, but you, you are 17 year old. How can you fight this battle? Hmm. And he said, David said, King, hear me. Even though I'm 17, mm. but if you know what I have done, my CV is good. Mm. I have killed a lion. Yes. Because I was in the bush mm. and a lion came mm. to devour one of the sheep. Mm. I went and fought and I killed the lion. Amen. The other day too, a bear also mm. came mm. and I killed the bear. Mm. So King, if I can kill a lion and a bear, mm. This man standing there mm. will also be the same. Hallelujah. Because the battle is the Lord. Amen. Did you hear me? Mm. And the king look at him again. <laughs> 17 year old. How can you fight somebody who in his lifetime has fought battles and have won? But the king have no choice because there was nobody coming forward. So he said, David, you go and okay, if that is the case. Take my armor, mm. take my garment, take my battle gear, hallelujah, and go and fight. David put them on, and he realized that the things were so heavy that with it, he cannot fight. So he took them off, and he went for something that he has tried and has worked for him. Amen. 
he went for his strength mm. and you know he took five you know stones praise god hallelujah and then suddenly he saw goliath coming mm. and you know he ran towards him mm. you know sometimes even though you may be scared though but you have to let the enemy know that hey mm. i'm not afraid of you yes so he ran towards the enemy mm. and then the bible says that he took one stone mm. and he shrunk it hallelujah mm. and thanks be to god the first stone hit Goliath on the forehead. Hallelujah. He, he went down. Mm. He went and took, because he didn't have any sword. He went and took Goliath's own sword mm. and cut his head. Mm. And that is how the battle was won. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, when I was studying this, there are certain things that I saw, and that is what I want us to discuss tonight. And these are the things that will help you and I Hallelujah. Mm. Because believe you me, at certain point in life, your Goliath will confront you. Mm. And that Goliath is the problem of life. Did you hear? Yeah. It can be financial. Mm. It can be marriage. Mm. It can be your children. Mm. It can be uh, uh, your health issue. It can be your work. So in life, at certain point, Everyone who go through certain things in life. Hallelujah. Amen. So, in studying this scripture, and that is why we are here to study tonight. Hallelujah. The first thing that I see in David's life, of which every one of you must also learn to be part, is that David was somebody who knew God. Right now, I believe everybody who is listening to me, you are a Christian. But don't let your Christianity be limited to just coming to church. Did you hear? Mm. What is very really important is that make sure that you know God and know God well. And you know God through his word. David was somebody that knew God and had God's word inside him. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so make sure <laughs> your Christian life is not just coming to church and, 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 and you leave your Bible on, in church and you don't even come for it until the following day. Amen. Some people leave their Bible <laughs> and they forgot about it. Did you hear? When, when you come to church, believe you me, check at the back. You will see some Bible there with some people's name in it. So it's like the Bible is not important to them. But let me tell you, Christianity is not just coming to church. You must have the word in you. Hallelujah. Praise God. I, I, I want to bring my wife in so that my wife can say certain things about having the word in you. Uh, can, can you say something? Yeah. Having the word in you, um, you need to create time mm -hmm. to study the word yes and believing in the word yes and knowing to apply the word mm -hmm. applying appropriate time yes because, because at certain times yes the need will arise yes when you know the word when you are filled with the word you become fearful because mm -hmm. you know that the word that is in you is god in you mm -hmm. so whatever that you speak whatever you declare will come to pass yes so it's important it's very important that you know the word mm -hmm. not just coming to where just coming to church but knowing the word and applying the word and at appropriate time and you can only know the word when you study study you read Creating the bible time and read the word praise god amen because there may be a time that the pastor is not there hallelujah amen praise god mm. And you yourself may have, uh, you may have to take action. For example, maybe you have travel, you know, on holiday, praise in a remote place, and the situation have, you know, come along. Mm. That is the time that uh, what is inside you must come out. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, the reason why I said David was somebody who knew the word is that in Psalm 119, if you read Psalm 119 verse 11, he said, Your word I have filled in my heart that I might not sin against you. Mm. 
to do here. Mm. He said, I have filled my heart with your word so that I may not sin against you. Hallelujah. In Psalm 119, again, in verse 105, he said, your word is a lamp unto my feet. Mm. To do here, mm. your word is a lamp unto my feet. Hallelujah. So you, you and I need the word. Mm. Mm. In Psalm 23, I'm talking about David here. Mm. The reason why I said he's, he's a man of the word. That's right. In Psalm 23, verse 1, he said, The Lord is my shepherd. Mm. I shall not want. Mm. He knew that as long as God is his shepherd, mm. God will provide for him. Amen. God will take care of him. Amen. So when he was going to fight Goliath, he mm. knew mm. that even though I'm fighting him, but mm. it is God because he is my shepherd. Mm. 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 So you you need the word inside you. Amen. And then in Psalm 27, verse 1, he said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Mm. Whom must I fear? Mm. They were they, all the, the other people, <laughs> the army general, mm. the king, mm. all the big men, mm. the colonels and, and the captains, they were afraid because they lack the word. Hallelujah. Mm. So have the word in you. This same David in Psalm 27, verse 3, a certain point on in his life, when things were not going well, he remembered and he said. I would have lost heart hmm. unless I had believed that I will see the goodness of God hmm. in this land of the living. living. Hmm. Hmm. I would have lost heart hmm. when sickness came, hmm. when I didn't have money, when everybody was against me, hmm. I would have lost heart. Hmm. But what kept him was that he remembered that as long as God is on the throne hmm. in the land of the living, Hallelujah. Mm. One day, one day, there will be a turnaround. Mm. Mm. Child of God, listen, you and I, we need the word because it is the word that helps us to triumph. Did you hear me? Sometimes doctors may give you a bad report, but it is the word of God inside you that will lift you up mm. and cause you to know that, hey, I will not die, yes, but I will live mm. and declare the glory of God. Lord. Amen. It is God's word that will revive you and tell you, hey, do not rejoice over me, oh my enemies. Hallelujah. I may have fallen, mm. but I will rise again. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. So you need the word. Mm. At the same time, I also saw that this David was a man that is filled with God's power. He had the Holy Spirit in him. Mm. And so right now that when you you have no problem, get yourself, hallelujah, praise God. Let the, That is why the Bible says, let the word of God dwell in you richly. Mm. Mm. You have to allow it. So allow yourself for the word of God to fill you richly right now when there is no problem, when you can read and have sound mind. Praise God. Because at a certain point, situation may arise and then as i said david was a man filled with the holy ghost so right now see make yourself available to be filled with the holy ghost hallelujah how why did i say that in psalm 92 verse 10 he said i have been anointed hallelujah with fresh oil mm. This is David himself saying, I have been anointed with fresh oil. Mm. In Psalm 23, he said that you anointed my head with oil and my cup mm. ran it over. Mm. And if you look, uh, in, in, uh, that is why in Psalm 51, even when he sinned, he prayed the Lord, don't take your Holy Spirit from me. So child of God, hear me. As, as I'm teaching, I want you to know the first thing that I saw in David's life was that he was a man filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm. He was a man who know God. Mm. And he was a man with the word. Right now, mm. that there is no problem, get yourself, hallelujah, ready. Mm. Get yourself filled with the word. Amen. By you reading the word. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Get the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, inside you. Mm. Praise God. Amen. And, and, and love God. Mm. And all these things take time. If you want the word, it takes time to read it and study. 
It takes time for the Holy Spirit to be upon a person's life. Mm. Do it now in the name of Jesus. Can you say the same point? Do you want to add something? This, um, I believe that um, if we, we have faith, we believe that God, we know the word and we use the word and the word also strengthen us. Then we, we, know, we need to believe in it that whatever we are about to do, whatever that will confront us, the, the God, whenever we speak, the word will, will come to manifestation. God will come to manifestation to, uh, uh, to confront the situation for us. So it's very important that we also believe in the word. All right. Now, the second point that we want to talk about here was that David was not afraid. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. He was a man of faith. Now, the opposite of, of, of faith is fear. Hallelujah. Amen. All the people, all the children of Israel, they were fearful. That is why nobody could confront him. Uh, uh, Goliath. Mm. So, at a certain point, when your Goliath show up, hallelujah, don't be afraid. Mm. So, why was David not afraid? David knew that because God was with him, he will not be afraid. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. And you and I, hallelujah, we got to know that we will not be afraid of every situation that confronts us. In the book of Second Timothy, uh, chapter 1 verse 7 hallelujah the bible tells us that god has not given us the spirit of fear mm. hallelujah he has given us love power mm. and sound mm. mind hallelujah mm. so fear is not your portion Amen. that is why you must have faith in god mm. because Whatever happens to you in this life, mm. when you are fearful, you cannot overcome it. Because fear opens you up for the enemy to attack you mm. even more. Mm. Did you hear me? Hallelujah. And David was not afraid. Praise God. He was not afraid. He, has he been afraid? He would not have been able to confront Goliath. Praise God. I don't know what your Goliath may be. Like I said earlier, it can be marriage issue, it can be financial issue, hallelujah, it can be sickness, praise God, praise God, it can be an issue to do with immigration, mm. but moment you allow fear to take over, you are doomed, mm. praise God, so do well, and, and, and this goes back to point number one, that as the word of God keep coming to you, mm. keep coming to you, what helps you is that it builds faith in you. Mm. Did you hear? Mm. So all these points I'm giving, they are, they are intertwined. They are related to each other. Now, if you have just joined us, good evening to you. Hallelujah. Vidas, good evening. Hello, Brother Paul, good evening to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Princess, good evening. Peter, Coffee, Gordon, good evening. And everyone that have tuned in, good evening. If you have tuned in, Elaine, good evening. Victoria, Antri, good evening. If you have joined in, we are teaching on overcoming the challenges of life. Hallelujah. And everybody at a certain point in life, hallelujah, you can be a prince, you can be a king, <laughs> you can be a prime minister, you can be a pastor, you can be president. At a certain point in your life, mm. you are, your challenge will come. Mm. Hallelujah. Did you hear? But take what I'm teaching today and it will help you to overcome your challenges. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Do you want to say and something? Yeah. Also, you should also believe, you should also know that God is with you because David knew that God was with him. So he, that's what gave him, he became, he became fearless. He was not frightened, he was not afraid of what he was about to do because he knew God was with him. Okay. Amen. That is good. Now, as, as we are moving on, I want you to know, hallelujah, point number three. Please write the points down. Mm. Point number three is that you you need to be inspired 
Hallelujah. By the reward. Uh, oh, read first 17 verse number 25 for me. Uh, whatever it is in life, hallelujah, mm. you need to be inspired by the reward of overcoming whatever challenge you are going through. For example, let's say you are sick. What will inspire you to fight that sickness? Mm. To do here. Mm. What will inspire you to fight that sickness is that, hey, I have worked hard in my life. Mm. I am not ready to die. No, 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 no. I will live. Yes. So I will fight on. Yes. What will help you to fight when your marriage hit crisis is that, hey, I will not live for somebody to come and enjoy no, my, my, no, my labor. No chance. I will fight and win. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. To do here. Mm. Praise God. Uh, so, your, your situation, whatever comes into your life, be inspired by the reward. And that is what happened to David. Before David went and fought Goliath, he asked, what will be the reward mm. if I fight and I win? Hallelujah. Read that for me. First Samuel chapter 17, 17 verse 25. What did David verse say? Verse 25, David said, so the men of Israel said, Mm -hmm. Have you seen the man who has come up? Mm -hmm. Surely he has come up to defy Israel. Mm -hmm. It shall be that the man who kills him, mm -hmm. who, king the, who, who kills him, the king will, will enrich with great richness, uh -huh. will give him his daughter, mm -hmm. and give his father's house exemption from tax in Israel. Hallelujah. Now, three important reward was here. That yeah. inspired David. Yes. Number one. Hallelujah. The Bible says that you will be exempted from taxes. Tax. Amen. You will not pay. Can you imagine living in Britain? So you are not <laughs> and, paying and, and tax. You are not paying tax. Amen. Every year about 4,000 pounds will be added to your money. Amen. That means you are not paying tax. Yes. Hallelujah. So they, they said, whoever killed this man, hallelujah, will not pay tax. Mm. Never, never in Israel. Number two, the king will allow you to marry hallelujah his daughter amen in other words hey if you marry if 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 you win the battle or if you kill the giant mm. if you destroy the problem hallelujah you will have the king's daughter to marry mm. praise god hallelujah and, and number three is that the king will give you riches yes, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. The king, number, well, let me go by the Bible. Mm. He will give you riches. Yeah. You will marry the daughter mm. and you will be exempted, exempted from, from tax. Taxes. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so always when a situation confronts you, hallelujah, think about the reward. What, what if I have to win this? Mm. If I win, what will I gain? If, you are, if I'm sick, if I defeat the sickness, I have my health. Mm. I can do other Hallelujah. things. Hallelujah. I can do other things. Mm. I will enjoy the fruit of my labor. Amen. I will live long mm. and take care of my, my children and mm. my grandchildren. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. And so whatever it takes, I will fight till I win. Yes, yes. Did you hear me? Mm. When, when a, a challenge comes, look at the reward. And that is what happened. David look at the reward. Hallelujah. Mm. I don't know your challenge that have mm. confronted you. Praise God. Maybe you, you are married and uh, somebody have come and, and they want to snatch your husband away. Are, are you going to kind of disturb your husband and push your husband away? No, no. No, no, you have to use wisdom mm. and get your husband back. Wisdom and prayer and get your husband back. See the problem beyond. Hallelujah. If somebody have come for your wife, mm. would you allow your wife no, to No, no, no. No. Hallelujah. The reward. See the reward. The reward is that I don't want to divide uh, my property. Hallelujah. I don't want somebody to come and break my family. And so I will fight on. Amen. And so David, I believe when David was going to meet Goliath, he said, hey, hey. I'm already a millionaire. Mm. I am already a millionaire. The king will give me riches. I will marry the king's daughter. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise God. And 
I will be exempted from taxes. So you, you go light. I will finish you. Amen. <laughs> I will finish you. <laughs> that gave him the strength. He gave him more strength. I will finish you. Amen. And, and, and so you and I, we need that. <laughs> Hallelujah. In order to overcome the challenges of life, you have to think about, you know, the reward that will come to you. Praise God. We need to see beyond the problem. Yes. Hallelujah. And look at the reward. Yes. Hallelujah. Now, the fourth point that we are talking about, so far as this thing is concerned, is that you must disregard negative criticism. Mm. Now, this is, a, this is a problem with a lot of people. Hallelujah. Mm. Disregard negative criticism. Now, David Brothers, hallelujah, <laughs> were the, the greatest people that discouraged, look at verse 28, they were the greatest people that discouraged David, that David should have given up because of them, verse 28. Now, there. Yeah. now Elip, yeah. his oldest brother, heard when, when louder, he spoke louder. to the men, and Elip's anger was, was, was aroused. Uh, against David and said, Why did you come down here? And would whom have let those few sheep in the in the wilderness? Know your pride and you and, see, and the, know your pride and the insolence of your heart. And do you see? For you have come down to see the battle. Mm -hmm. And David said, What have I done now? Is it there a cause? Is that not a cause? Is, is that is that not there a cause? Hallelujah. Stop. Mm -hmm. Now did you see? The brothers were discouraging him. Yeah. So, ah, why have you come here? <laughs> this is not for kids. Praise God. Because of the uh, insolence of your heart. Insolence of your heart. In mm. other words, you, you, are, you, are, you are somebody mm. else. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, you, this child. Mm. Uh, you are somebody else. Mm. You look at you are very really arrogant. Yes. Where did you leave the, uh, the, uh, what, what the, the you, ship? What, what the did you leave the you are here? did you leave the ships and come here? <laughs> now, in life, I want you to know that people will say that to discourage you. Mm. Even in church. Huh? Even in church, people will say, ah, you, you have taken everything. You think everything is, do you think the church is your, for your father? They will say that <laughs> to discourage you. But mm. don't listen. Mm. If David have listened to his brothers, he would not have gone on. Mm. Did you hear me? Yes. And so it is so important that in this life, when you are doing something good, when God has spoken to you and you are doing something good, don't listen to people. If you listen to people, people will discourage you. People will cause you to give up. But unfortunately, a lot of people they buy Satan's bait. They, <laughs> they pay attention more mm. to what even the enemy is saying. Yes, sir. Did you hear me? Yes. Don't pay attention. I, I remember recently, you know, there were a couple that were fighting. And then I happened to ask, ask both of them, so what is your problem? And then one will say, Susan, so will say this, Susan, so. And then I said, Really? And, and then I said, listen, don't pay attention to what somebody else say. What so and so, so and so say makes you even more angry if you pay attention to it. And, and that is how life is. A lot of people, hallelujah, they listen to the wrong voice. Mm. Hallelujah. And, and I, I mean this. You see, the, your enemy will, will not say anything good about you. Mm-mm. What the enemy will always say would discourage you. I, I remember in the book of Nehemiah, you can read that. Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 3. When Nehemiah was building the walls mm. of, of Jerusalem, Sambalan mm. and Tobiah, hallelujah. Amen. What did they say? Hmm. Huh? They said, hey, look at them. <laughs> they are building the walls. So, uh, even when the fox. Brother, uh, when the first jump over, <laughs> <laughs> the, the walls will collapse. Mm. Meanwhile, you are worried and you are complaining that why are you building a wall? And so, if forces will, 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 will run you over, why are you complaining? Mm. But they are saying that to discourage 
Nehemiah and the people. Mm. Are you here? Yeah. That is why, <laughs> praise God, you don't have to listen to the voice of the enemy. Mm -mm. Because the enemy will not speak anything good about you. You may be sick and the enemy will be speaking, ah, this sickness will kill you. Hallelujah. Disregard that. That is why I said earlier, you must have God's word in you. It's very really important that you have God's word. Because when the enemy starts speaking to you, you got to speak back. You can counterreact. Hallelujah. With the word of Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Now, point number five that I want to make concerning this issue, overcoming the challenges of life, is that you got to remember at certain point in life, hallelujah, that you have a covenant with God. Mm. When David saw Goliath, David said, ah, why have you allowed this uncircumcised Philistine? Mm, mm. In other words, somebody who don't have a covenant with God. Mm. Why have you allowed him, praise God, Amen. to insult all of us and insult our God? So David remembered that he had a covenant with God. And child of God, hear me. Always remember any situation that confronts you, that listen, God is behind me mm. as a mighty warrior. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm. And if God is behind you as an awesome mighty warrior, praise God, who must you be afraid? Mm. And, and for those of you who don't know, a covenant is agreement between two parties. Normally, it is an agreement between a stronger party and the weaker party. God is a stronger party. We are weaker party. But because we have a covenant yeah, through Christ, mm. God said, I will fight for you. Mm. So listen to me, whoever is listening right now. I don't know your problem. I don't know your difficulty. I don't know what you are going through. But whatever you are going through, remember you have a covenant with God. And if you have a covenant with God, then God will fight for you. And also remember, hallelujah, that past victories, mm -hmm. your past victories, to say. hallelujah, mm -hmm. your past victories must give you strength. Amen. David realized that, hey, I have killed a lion. That's right. Now, a lion is more fierce. Mm. I've killed a lion. Yes. I've killed a bear. Mm. A bear is the strongest of all the animals. Mm. I've killed one. Mm. And so this man will also be like one. Like one of them. Will be one of them. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. Pray God. Do you want to add something? Yeah, we should always remember what God has done in the past for yes. us. The things that has confronted us before and he has delivered us out of it. Yes. He has said us true. He has made yes. us victorious over it. Yes. So whatever has, that is coming, we know we will be overcome again. He is not going to abandon yes. you. He will never abandon you because yeah. he still, he said, I am with you to end of age. Yeah. So he's always with us. So yeah. remember that. That's right. Yes. Hallelujah. But you need to, uh, see, there, there are a uh, lot of us with past vic victories. Mm. A certain point, when you were uh, years back, you were sick. Hmm. God delivered you. Hmm. And now you are sick again. The same God will deliver you. Amen. Are you here? Yes. Maybe years back, some problem, financial challenges came. Hmm. And God gave you victory. Yes. That same God is hmm. the one that will give you victory now. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It is very important hmm. that you, you, you remember this. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah. God has even promised us, I will, I will do far more than you think I can do. Mm -hmm. So God, when he, when he promised us, he has always promised us. So believe that his promise is yea, yea and amen. Yeah. Every time anything confronts us, our God is with us. And he will do more than even what he did in the past. He's going to do even more now. So when we believe in that, the strength will come, the ability will come, the faith will come, and we will stand tall against the, the, the problem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Now, remember this. Uh, we are moving to point another point, which is, hallelujah, point number six. And in point number six, hallelujah, you got to learn to speak positively to the 
problem or mm. to the challenge that is ahead of you. Amen. Learn to speak positively. Mm. Now, when David confronted Goliath, now the battle was about to engage. Mm. Hallelujah. The Bible says that Goliath started speaking against David. Hmm. Look at verse 44, hmm. 43 and 44. Goliath started speaking. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. He started speaking and he was cursing David. Hallelujah. Hmm. That you, today, hmm. I will kill you and I will give you to the birds of the air. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. I will curse. And he, the Bible says he cursed him. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hmm. Praise God. Did you hear? But David knew better. David did not allow what Goliath was saying to bring him down. Hmm. Are you there? Read yeah. from verse 43. 43. And, and so the Philistine said to David, I'm a do I'm a, I, I am a dog that you have come to come with a stick mm -hmm. and Philistine cursed David by his gods. Now listen, he cursed David by his gods. Hallelujah. He was probably calling Diagon. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And he was saying, I curse you with Diagon. Yes. I curse you with that. Yeah. Today you will die. Mm. Today you do it. And they do that to us every day. Paul said they kill us every day. Mm. Yet we are alive. <laughs> and keep mm. going. And the Philistine said to David, mm -hmm. come to me and I will give your flesh to the bears of the air mm -hmm. and the beasts of the field. Mm -hmm. David then said, then David said to, to the Philistine. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Mm. Hallelujah. So the, the enemy started, you know, saying some words mm. to David. Number one, he cursed him with his gods. Mm. And number two, he moved on to say that today I will kill you. Mm. And I will give your flesh to the birds of the air. Yes. Did you hear? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And and sometimes a lot of people, like I said earlier, when we hear the voice of the enemy, then we give up. Mm. No, don't give up. We run. Hallelujah. David mm -hmm. also did something. Verse mm. 45. What did he do? Then David said to the Philistine, mm -hmm. You've come to me with the, with a sword, yes. with a spear, mm -hmm. with a javelin, yes. but I have come to you. In the name of the Lord of hosts, Hallelujah. the God of army of Israel, yes. whom you have defied. Yes. Now, David remembered that he has a covenant with God. Mm. And he switched, hallelujah, and said, look, you have come, hallelujah. But I have also come in the name of the Lord, the God of Israel. Mm. That is why I am I'm yeah. challenging you today. And then he went on to in, say, in, in verse 46. Yeah. He said, this day, you will be delivered. the Lord will deliver you into my hand. Hallelujah. And I will strike you mm. and take your head from you. Amen. And this day, yes, I will give the carcass. Hallelujah. Praise God. Of the camp of the Philistines mm. to the bears of the air. Amen. And the wild beasts of the air. Mm. That all the earth may know that there is a God in, in Israel. Israel. Hallelujah. And there are times you've got to talk big. <laughs> Let talk big of your God. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Talk big of your God. Mm. See, life is full of problems. Mm. But you got to talk big. Say, hey, devil, I want you to know. No, speak to the devil. Mm. That is why Jesus said, speak to your mountain. Mm, to be moved. Speak to your mountain to be moved. So the challenge, the problem that you are facing is your mountain. Mm. Speak to that sickness. Mm. Speak to that financial challenge. Amen. Speak to that marital problem. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise God. Mm. And speak defeat mm. to them. Mm. Say, hey, you that power that have risen, mm. I will defeat you in the name yeah. of the Lord. Amen. Because the battle is the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Talk positively. I'm telling you, mm. whatever challenge that may have confronted you, you're going to face it head on. Don't run away. Hallelujah. Don't run away. Face it head on in the name of Jesus. And then when we, 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 we continue, we say that David, hallelujah, when he confronted it, he was able to kill Goliath. Mm -hmm. In other words, he was able to defeat hmm. Goliath. I pray for you that whatever be your Goliath, 
you too, hallelujah, mm. you will defeat your Goliath. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise God. Now, my point number seven is that Goliath did something that sometimes, if you are not careful, we will do the same. Mm. Don't underestimate anything that have come against you. Do you hear? Mm. Hallelujah. Goliath underestimated David. He thought, I have yeah. killed some people. Mm. So as for this, this you, little you, you, tiny boy, you tiny boy, I will stamp <laughs> on you and kill you. Before he realized he was dead. So, point number seven is that we will not underestimate anything that comes across us. Hallelujah. We will go with the same power, mm. with the same ability, Amen. with the same knowledge yes. that we have in God mm. until we finish and we destroy that thing. Amen. Don't take anything, underestimate anybody. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Amen. that is how you overcome the challenges of life. Because in this life, there are challenges. Mm. And, and also, the Bible tells us that God will not allow, hallelujah, anything that is bigger and greater than us to come against us. Mm. So, whenever anything comes, rise against you, know that you are well able to overcome it. That is why God permitted it in the first place. Mm. You need to understand. Whatever challenge that comes your way, Understand that God permitted it, God allowed it because you are well able to overcome it. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Otherwise, God would not allow it to come. And as long as that thing has come, God will make a way for you to overcome it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13. He said, No temptation has overtaken you, except such as is common to man. Mm, mm. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able but with the temptation will also make a way of escape mm. that you may be able to bear it. Mm. So, whatever confronts you, know that you are well able to overcome it. That is why God allowed it. Mm. And oftentimes, any challenge that comes your way is an indication that you are about to be promoted. <laughs> To another level. To another level. Amen. Did you hear me? <laughs> if you overcome that challenge, you will move to another level of yes. promotion. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm. Did you hear? Mm. That is why whenever a situation comes, don't give up. Fight on. Amen. Keep it up. Mm. Keep it on. Amen. Keep pressing. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you here? Mm. Praise God. Because if you don't had David not confronted this, mm. he would not have become the future king. No. Because by him killing Goliath, everybody got to know that, hey, there's greatness in this guy. Mm. This guy can one day be king. Are you here? Yes. So please understand that even though we may not like challenges, we may not like it, but challenges also help you to... The, Move to another level. level. Of Amen. Life. Amen. Do you want to say something, and then? I I believe that uh, the, uh, David, when he was able to uh, to defeat Goliath, um, he he, he made him he, even he helped he was able to defuse the the situation by um people of Israel not going to um to slavery, because if the, the if Goliath uh, David has retreat or have felt that I cannot do it, but now Israel will be will be under Philistines. They will be their their slaves. So anything that comes on your way, don't retreat. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. Mm -hmm. 
be head on with it. Yes. Uh, victory will be yours. Confront it. Confront it head yeah. on. Head and on. victory will be yours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it will promote you to another level. Amen. 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 Hey, Apostle Leo. Hey. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Apostle Leo, you were on last week. Thank you for coming on today. And thank you for last week. God bless you. God bless you. Now, child of God, uh, thank you for tuning in today. Our time is up. And we pray that you will put this to practice. Hallelujah. And because God is on your side, keep moving forward. Whatever challenge that comes your way, hallelujah, it will be a stepping stone for your promotion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And besides, remember, God is with us. Hallelujah. Mm. And remember, if God be for us, who can be against us? Nobody. And remember, hallelujah, praise God, that as long as God is for you, and you have a covenant with God, God will give you the strength, the knowledge, the ability to overcome the challenge. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. So keep trusting him in Jesus' name. May you overcome every difficulty. May you overcome every challenge. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you all for tuning in. Please, if you haven't shared, press the share so that many, many people can also get this study and be blessed. Hallelujah. Good evening to everyone. Uh, Victoria, good evening, Brother Paul. Hallelujah. Thank you for tuning in, Brother Paul. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sister Haiti, good evening to you, Naomi. Hey, Sister Jane, thank you for tuning in. In the name of Jesus, God bless everyone that tuned in today. And uh, Brother Peter, thank you for writing for us. In the name of Jesus. Bye-bye, every one of you. Bye-bye. God bless you. Bye-bye, everyone. God bless and God you. bless for tuning in. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep tuning in next week. By God's grace, we will be here giving you some more teachings that will help you in life. Amen. Bye-bye, everyone. We love you. We love you. We love Amen. you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God Amen. is a good Amen. God. I want you to know, in signing of, I want you to know God is a good God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise